As mentioned, in the header row of your table are drop down menus that allow you to sort and filter your Excel table. When you click on the drop down arrow, you will see that you have options to sort your rows from A to Z, Z to A, or you can sort by color if you have formatted your table cells with fill color. If the values in the columns are numeric values, then you will have the option of sorting values from largest to smallest, smallest to largest, or by fill color. Sorting can be very useful. Suppose we needed to sort our agents alphabetically or our homes by their prices from most expensive to least expensive. The sort and filter feature of Excel tables makes this possible and efficient. How to sort an Excel table column by column. In Excel, when sorting columns, you should always sort the column of least importance first and the column that is most important last. For example, if we first sorted the list price column from largest to smallest and then sorted the agents column from A to Z, then the agents column would take priority and all of Adam's listings would be listed first. Then for each agent, their listing would be listed from most expensive to least expensive. You can see that the agents are listed alphabetically and for each agent their listings are in order of most expensive list price to least expensive list price. This is because we sorted the list price first and the agent last. How to sort an Excel table using the sort dialog box. You can also sort your table using the sort dialog box. To do this, start by clicking the down arrow on the column that you want to sort first. When you sort your table this way, the column you want to sort first will be the most important. Since we want agents to be the most important column, we will start there. In the agent column, click the sort down arrow. From the drop down menu, click on sort by color and then click custom sort. In the column category, make sure the agent column is selected. If not, then click the drop down arrow and select agent from the list. Now in the sort on category select values and under the orders category select A to Z. Now click the add level button. A new level will appear that is labeled then by. Under column select list price. Under sort on select values and under order select largest to smallest. Now your table is sorted by agents alphabetically and then by list price from largest to smallest. You could continue adding levels to filter by. Just remember, when using the sort dialog box, the most important column is sorted first. How to use filters based on the tables data in Excel tables. Suppose we had a customer that was only interested in homes that had three bedrooms or more. We could use the filter button to remove any listings from the table that have less than three bedrooms. To do this, we would click the down arrow in the bedrooms column. From the checkbox list, we would uncheck any box that is less than three and click OK. Now only homes with three bedrooms or more will show in our table. How to use custom auto filters in Excel tables. Now suppose our customer only wanted homes less than $150,000. To do this, we would click on the drop down arrow in the list price column and then from the menu select number filters. A new menu will appear offering you different options to fil filter your numbers. For our example, we will select less than or equal to and the custom auto filter dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, you can see that there are different options to filter. For our example, we are only interested in homes listed for less than $150,000. So in the box right next to the box that lists the type of number filter we are using, we will enter $150,000 and click OK. Now only homes less than $150,000 that have more than three bedrooms are shown in our table.